greetings and welcome back today i'm going to show you how to measure leaf area using image a it's very simple software that i have already uh, made a tutorial on how to download it and install it on your computer now we are going to use it to measure leaf area leaf area as you already know is very important measure for a variety of experiments and to do that you usually need to buy a leaf area meter in this tutorial I'm going to save you money and have you learn how to do leaf area and for that matter any area of any object using image J. so let's get right to it before that check out my tutorial on how to install image J. I will link to that in the description box and also in the cards above this video on YouTube and so let's do that and then use image J to measure leaf area let's do it okay so once my image is loaded on image a what i need I, i'll do now is to duplicate the image by clicking duplicate so i remove any information that i don't really need then i will try to adjust um, the brightness and uh, like make the colors a little bit clearer than this so i will separate um, the background from the foreground from the leaves this will be good this is good enough for me for now also I needed um, to see if I wanted um, anything else I don't need at this stage okay next is to set the scale to set the scale first thing you need to do is to click on this line here straight line and you go and measure the scale for example this is going to be like three centimeters i know in the ruler these are uh, three centimeters one two and three and then where i need to go is to analyze and set scale okay so the distance is three centimeters and i already said it from before three centimeters so it's really um, a correct measure that is done next is to uh, isolate the leaves that i wanted um, to measure so what I need to do to adjust the color threshold, because I don't need measurements of the whole leaf. I only needed um, the leaves here in the picture. Uh, so uh, to do that, um, I need to adjust these um, colors. Just uh, moving uh, back and forth, trying to adjust it to match the whole area of the leaf. As you can see here right now. And so this is um, just in, until you get the area um, correctly. Okay, so this is done. This part is done. And this is okay. And then here, probably need to do a little bit uh, more of uh, the measurements. Okay, so there you go. I think. Uh, this is reasonable so that's what it does actually um, this is the different variety of thresholding methods the threshold color is red you can also have uh, RGB right here and you can also adjust the colors from here as well so uh, that can be done too so um, just a matter of moving back and forth this um, uh, scales here and so there you go until you basically get the whole color so once you have the threshold then you are set uh, so that's it what I wanted is the measurement of um, this area I don't need the, the line now I, I will go for the triangle or rectangle to just select the the image I want to measure there you go and then basically what I needed to do since I already set the scale I can go to um, analyze tools and region of interest ROI manager okay and then I probably click show all and labels so it will label that for me and then I would say you can go one by one because I don't want to include the ruler because you can see it. So I can go one, 
here is number one and then add it you can see the now the numbers is there second one third leaf fourth leaf and fifth leaf let's say we'll just do these it, the rest is the same and then you just have to click measure here that's it as you can see here this is the leaf area this is the standard deviation a whole bunch of other data i asked um set measurements here it will give you all the measurements that you are interested in for me area standard deviation area fraction a perimeter is also i like i like to have it um period diameter is good to have any cortosis if you wanted to or the mean gray scale also can be measured. anything that you like up to three decimal points whatever it is uh, you can have that um there then you can basically save this file as csv and open it in excel if you are interested what you can do with this data also since you already measure these uh, five leaves you can see one two three four five is to have the results um, summarized as you can see here this is the summary of all this data this is the standard deviation other data is also available here the parameter is here you can see the parameters for example fifth leaf parameter is smaller than say the first leaf so this one you can see the yellow line here a little bit clear um, this is definitely much bigger than this one so that's what it is um, you can also have the all these definitions are actually if you are interested in knowing what they are and what they measure you can easily go to image tutorial and documentation it will show you exactly what those um, what this data means but for me I'm interested as I mentioned in the beginning in leaf area and that what I had here and then I can save this file as an, a CSV file as a leaf area. And that's it. I'm done. So this is how you measure the leaf area. So this is done. And once you are done, you can keep this data and you can also delete the whole thing. Okay, delete it all. And then it's, you start from the beginning. Another thing you could do, you can automate this whole process for the whole for the whole set like not only you do it one by one uh, like we did now uh, you can do it by analyze particles and you set the minimum for example the minimum is i already know all of them are, are one more, more than one centimeter square centimeter so i will just do that there and then i overlay mass so it will show me the numbers and then i can click okay there you have it now I have them all labeled one three four two five seven nine ten six eight remember the way it is ordered is different than when you select it yourself but you know this is a sample and each of them refer to each one of them here so number one is the first one here and number ten is this one okay so here you have the whole data set measured and done for you so this is another way to do it you can do the same thing you can calculate the summary you can also save as as you would expect so the first bunch the first five leaves are, are here um, it goes actually uh, in the order of the position of the sample on the in the area so it doesn't go by the order you place them here unless you click them by one one by one using the wand here if you are going to use analyze particles it's going to look at the order they are shown in the image like this is the whole image and this is how they are shown so if you look here this will be at the top okay and next to it is this one and then this one and the last one is here in this order so if you place like a line here you would know this is the last here and then this comes next right then why is 10 is here because 10 is the lowest so if you actually wanted to arrange this you arrange it 
um, instead of arranging it horizontally, you can arrange it in one row and uh, they are like stacked on, to on, on top of the other, then they will be arranged in a proper order. Or you can basically take this set, you know, and then flip it, flip the image and you measure it and then you do the second set and so on. So that's basically it. It's very simple, straightforward. It gives you the area here, as you can see. So this should give you the same area if you are done. And so if I go back here and say, let me delete everything. Okay. Um, if I go to the first and then um, I open um, analyze uh, and say tools, ROM. And then I can just go to this and uh, select it. For example, this one here um, or uh, that one, the first one. And say add. Okay. And then you measure. You can do one even. There you go. You can see this one, which we did manually, is the same as this one, which was done automatically in in bunch so this is how simple it is you can have as many leaves as you want you know and they can be scattered all over the place and image j will still be able to count them and give you their leaf area and their length and their weight and all of the information parameter and so on that you are interested in that's how simple image j is and you can easily save this file as you know csv file and then once you are done you can open that file like here it is in excel and you can do whatever you want with it you can see a whole bunch of information here okay so that is how you use image j the wonderful software that really will substitute your leaf area meter and it's not just for leaf area it has a whole bunch of analysis that it can do and it's extremely useful especially with the macros and the plugins you can have as much as you want anything you wanted to do here can be done all right i hope this was useful to you so try it on your own as i mentioned image j come with its own samples try it on the sleeve and then do it just set the scale. This is the first thing. You go analysis. Set the scale. Next thing you do is color threshold, which is adjust color threshold. And the third thing is to analyze. Have your data in ROI manager. Then all you have to do is just click measure here or click, click measure in the ROI, which is also available here. That is what will give you the leaf area. All right. Okay, so I hope you found that tutorial useful. And let's see you next time. If you like this video, just say it. Click like and share this video with others. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section of YouTube. And also, if you like the channel as a whole, support us by subscribing to it. You take care for now and let's see you in the next tutorial. I'm going to do another one on MJ, how to use MJ for seed counting and also for measuring leaf area and perimeter of seeds, which will give you a good indicator on the size of the seeds. Let's do that next time. For now, take care and good luck with your work. Keep up the great research work. Goodbye.